Good afternoon. Summer's here again for a couple of days anyway. So uh, I've got the windows open today, so it might be a little bit noisy in the background. But you know what? It's better than it being too hot. And we want to be comfortable when we're sat tangling, don't we? We don't want to be too hot or too cold. So uh, here we go. Uh, sat at my desk here in my own office. Gosh, how crazy is that? My own office. Not a corridor anymore. And uh, yeah, we're going to make a start. We're on 367 for the day. And I'm just going to turn it over. And I have actually inked. I've used that lovely yellow out the sorbets. And I've inked using some yellow ink with the Day of the Dead Roses. I think it's nice. I'm liking this sort of same colour on colour. Just gives something in the background, doesn't it, to get you sort of started. So speaking of getting started, um, look, I have actually tried my rubber, the electric one. Um, I'll, I'll talk about that a little bit as we're going on. But uh, for now, let's get going. What have I got with me? Regular pen, pencil, tortillon. Uh, I don't have a rubber with me, it's at the other side of the desk, so I might have to sort of squeeze around and get that. Or I could use this one. All right, you ready then? So first things first, I wanna create myself. Um, let's just put a little bit of a, a line in. I'm gonna do it really lightly because I don't need this line when I've finished. So shall we have that as a challenge? Four hundred tile 400 by new year. I'm gonna make a note of that because I reckon we can do it. Hang on, 400 by New Year. I'm gonna have a look at the dates because that'd be great because we did it on the first year and we're on 67 now, so we'll see, eh? That'd be quite a challenge. But even if we've got to add a few extra in, I'm sure we could do it, you know. Okay, I'm gonna do a border, but notice it's a little bit wider than we usually do. So, get doing it lightly in pencil, okay? Let's turn it around and do the same again. Uh, so, you see I'm using sort of those lines to guide me a little bit, although I'm not overly worried if it doesn't match. You know what we like with borders. You see, it's about there. Okay, so I've got my first square in, there you go, we'll say square, all right? So, I wanna put another one in and sort of looking at it, Similar, similar size, I would say. There we go. And oh, take my another one. Another. Here we are. Oh. And then one in the middle there. Oh, I could have done that one at the same time, couldn't I? Actually, I might just go ahead and put that in in pen because I'm keeping that one. That one's a keeper. <laughs> there you are, in there. And same in this one. Okay, don't worry too much if it doesn't exactly meet those lines, but I'm definitely keeping that one. All right, so let's, uh, let's work in the middle one for a start, I reckon, as to uh, coming in a little bit. And we've already got some marks, so I'm gonna, Chewing them up now. I'm going to put those little triangles in. And that would say, now there, see as it sort of goes off, I'm actually going to join it point to point. So it, it just looks a bit odd if we don't. So that's where I'm headed with that. Okay, let's go with it again. So it doesn't matter where we start. I think I'm going to put a little line down there. And you'll see why in a minute. Because what I want to do is create a series of lines this way. And a series of lines this way. So if I turn it round, let's do that on all of them, see? A series of lines this way. And this way. And I'm going to do that on all sides. So whichever way is more comfortable for you, if you want to do these, you know, drawing them horizontally rather than vertical, like I tend to do, you can go ahead and do that. But I kind of like doing it that way. And this one. There we go. Okay. So I want to fill in that bottom one there. I could have brought my O5 pen in, but just use my O3, it's not a massive space, so I don't 
doesn't matter so much. Okay. So far so good. All right, I'm gonna put the uh, lid on my pen for a minute. And I'm gonna put some little grid lines in for the next row. So I'm gonna do the, set, the two rows at once. So here we go, I'm gonna go and split the middle. But notice I've not gone to the edge, I've just gone into those shapes there. And then if I turn it this way, and again, split the space that way and and if I have a look I've got these sections here I want to do the same but I'm going to imagine it let me get look, to the point so about halfway and to the point so it's going to go at an angle okay so, right. same with this one let's just do this right. I'm hoping Sarah's going to get that There's nobody else in. There's <laughs> only Sarah and myself today. So if you're ringing me, why are you ringing me during a live tile? I'm sorry, everyone. There you are. Okay. And that one. And that one. So let's have a little look at this. <laughs> no soon. Some people don't watch the live, so some people don't follow Facebook. It's absolutely fine. But I'm sure we'll catch up later, whoever it was. <laughs> if, it, if it was you. <laughs> All right, coming in with pen then. And again, you can do this whichever way. I'm actually going to look at each section and I'm going to draw a diagonal line. If you would rather do it that way, please, that's absolutely fine. So on the inside, I'm going to draw a diagonal in every one of those spaces. Uh, Lynn, I have received your email. Uh, I've, I've not opened it. The only reason is, once I open them, I lose them. So I know it's there, I know what it is. Uh, I will get to it. I've, I've had a bit of a busy week. <laughs> What's new? Yeah, I've, uh, I, I wanna actually be able to sit down and look at it properly, if that makes sense. I didn't want to rush it, so bear with me. But yeah, I've got it. Okay. Let's see. All of these. That one. Have I done that one? Yeah. And that one. See, it looks a bit weird. You've really got to focus and follow this because the shapes are a little bit different. So if I look at the shapes, you see this one here, for example, what I want to do is I'm going to go on the outside edge and I'm going to fill it with lines, like so. Okay. And then I can actually now draw that line in. So let's look at the next one here. So maybe you want to draw the line in first. Because I'm looking at this shape here fill it with lines. Okay, let's just have a look at that. So here's my section and I've put a diagonal line across it. So this one here, you see I'm turning it so I've got that line. I'm going to fill it with lines and I can put that one in where they sort of come to. So this one, Again, there's my section, there's my inside and my outside. So I'm going to fill this section with lines. Let's draw that line down there. Okay. The next one, looking at it as a section again. Put that line in first this time, doesn't matter which way. And in we go. next section see here it is so I'm gonna leave this bit and I'm gonna go in and draw lines in this section here next section this top bit okay so you see all the way around let's go in a little bit okay we're getting this design starting to form 
so we're always on the outer edge. So then here's my next section. Let's put that line in. And along we go. And the next section. Once you get the hang of it, you've got to make sure you're following first, just so you're focusing on which piece. You could always even come in and put a little cross in it first, so you, you know and you don't have to keep stopping and looking which ones you're putting your lines in. And this one. You see, having that colour underneath, and it's slightly different because of the stencil, it uh, gives it a little bit of something in the back there as well. There we go. And this one. Right again. Oh, that's a bit wide. Let's put one in the middle of that. And along we go. And this one. Last one into there. So we've got something that looks a little bit like that. Okay. So now let's have a look at this row around the top edge. I'm going to just go in a little bit. So before I actually went this way with my diagonal, you might have gone that way. But so this time I'm going to go the opposite way. So if you've already done that way, you're going to go that way. And if I just show you where we're heading with this, I'm going to then draw those lines in there as well. All right. And again, I can bring that line in to join. So I'm forming a triangle shape. Okay. <laughs> All right. So down this. Pat, oh, I do plan. I do. I do have my, uh, hang on, just look like my rough version there. <laughs> so I have got my sketch. Okay. To be honest though, it's not always as though I actually follow it exactly. Sometimes I change things as I go. Okay. See there, that one looks a bit wide. Let's put another one in. Doesn't matter. You're not going to count. Oh, thank you, Viv. So I've got to get five spare tiles in. Five spares. Okay. And of course, September, we're going to be doing something a bit different as well. Uh, more to come on that, being that I've read the email once. <laughs> I need to check it again. That's, uh... So it might be that we do our, um, our Friday, you know, our Advent that we do at Christmas, we might be moving it forward to September. So that be something to look forward to. Be nice. Okay. Same with this one. You, you, I think you get the idea with this now. We're uh, forming little triangles, and they don't have to be particularly neat. There's so many lines in there. Oh, you're not really gonna check on everyone and once you've added some shading and all the rest it's be fine and to this one see how that works in there oh viv okay fine oh five spare oh right it means i can have a week off <laughs> cool Your lines are sort of going to match. If they don't, please don't worry about it. Oh no. Maybe Sarah can get that. Just one second. Sarah's going to 
sweet. There you are. Somebody drastically wants to get in touch with us. So. All right. And the next one. You see how that's sort of all coming together now. Keep it going. Sort of a line city today, isn't it? Okay, this one. Almost there. Look, that's quite a long, narrow one, but it's got quite a way to go. There we are. And there. And if you don't want to put these many lines in, you don't have to. See, now that's my husband. He should know better. Look at the time and know exactly what it is. Oh, it's going to be popular. There we go. So we've got this kind of a shape going on at the minute. Now I'm not going to use these bits on the outside. Now what I want to sort of show you the, the rubber, whatever electric we've got. One, it's noisy. And two, what I found, if you actually use it, it it if you try and take over rub out over the black it, it sort of takes the black off so if you're not careful you can end up with a sort of more uh, muted image it's doing all that on top of these inks uh, but you can sort of see where that line so yeah I, uh, I think it's great but I still think I'd use my regular rubber it's only if I've got something really see that really detailed I would use this but I'm going to stick with my tatty old rubber <laughs> okay so let's have a look so okay triangles grids and it's, honestly don't, don't stress over it if you want to do less lines that's absolutely fine it's just giving us something to work to for the next step so what I'd like to do now is I'm going to come in with um, anywhere, it can start anywhere. I'm going to put a little line in and I'm going to imagine that it's going in. And if it comes in contact with any of these extra spaces, I'm going to go in there. Okay, let's just go a little bit bigger there. You see? See how it's going underneath? So then I'm going to do another can't do it you just might get a bit in there and bring it out there. okay so let's turn it around and do another so again I'm going to come in sort of uh, here I'm not going too close to the edge note because I want to put things on top of these and I'm going to give myself a bit of space okay and then double it up underneath if you can See, I've got some starting to come. Both of them at the moment are going the same way. So I'm going to bring another one in. This time I'm going to go this direction. You see how I'm working my way through? And of course, if you need to, you can do this with a pencil first. And then you can draw over the whole thing. And you don't have to try and match it going underneath. Let's put one in here under there. See, so I'm not going to see anything there until it comes out there. So it's sort of a little bit of a, a hit and miss as to where they come out. So I want to put one there, look. So let's go with that way around. So I'm going to get a bit there. It's going to come out there. So depending on how much you angle it, depends on where it's going to come out. Another one there. So it's going to come along, see, underneath, underneath, and out there. And again, underneath, and out there. So I've got a few sort of kicking out there. So let's uh, have a look at what we're going to do on top of these. Let's come in a little 
little bit. And that's how it looks. So what I do is I'm going to sort of go across and put a little curve in there, like a little leaf or petal shape. And then same on this side. And a couple of little lines either side. And let's put one in the middle. So same again. Now if you want to do it the other way around, you can. I just find it I like drawing it that way. See, and put that one in there and then a couple of little lines. So I'm gonna leave that one. I'm not gonna do this on all of them up and back down and then up this way creating a second one and then in with this one and then a couple of little lines either side and this one again like up and down creating that little shape I'm gonna see I've, I've done two, missed one, done one, done one. I'm gonna do there, it's a bit close, so I'm not gonna do that one. I'll draw this one in here. There you are. A couple of little lines. Let's put one down here and then I'm just gonna stop and have a look at it. There you are. Don't worry if they're a little bit odd in shapes, it doesn't matter. So it definitely does need one here on one of these three. So I'm going to go with this one here. So we can look in and out. Let's do that one and that one. And let's put those little flicks in there. Okay. So these ones, I'm going to, let's do one coming around, putting a little bubble on that. It looks like it's going underneath. I'm going to choose a couple more to do that with, just letting them disappear. I'm going to do that one. So I've sort of done all my lines, but I'm going to add a few more. Okay, one there, look. So on this one, I'm going to come around as before, but then I'm going to come around again. So let's put this one in here. I'm going to draw this in first and then I'll figure out where it's going through the maze in a minute. Let's uh, focus on these little beasts there. See, so that one like is going to go through there and it's coming sort of out there. So I can put another one of those on. Sam, I know Leslie's not in, but she's watching. I've seen her, seen her name pop up. Yeah, I've got all weekend for her to get over it. <laughs> Does mean though, with Leslie not being in, I don't get a cup of tea. So let's put some little marbles in here. See. Here I'm going to put loops, a little line in. Let's go a bit bigger there. So it's going to go through and down there. So on the sort of flower shapes, we'll put these little loops. And on the other ones, we'll put little bubbles. Just sometimes it's, it's nice to change it up a bit and try something a bit different. I know we're not on to grids, but there's a lot of us out there that do like grids and if we can do a bit of a mixture and put the two together they help they give you structure and just give you a bit of an idea and it's nice to try it now and again just come out your comfort zone a little bit They do that, like happy little people. 
happy little peeps. Okay, let's have a little look at that. See, I know some of you out there like grids, I know. So I'll tell you what we haven't done in a while. We haven't put any zingers in, have we? So uh, let's, let's find a few spaces to add a few of these. A little bobble on look. It's sort of like these, but they're just lines. So getting smaller each time. And they're lovely to draw. Everybody loves it. I don't actually know anybody who says don't like these. Sometimes we find we end up drawing more of them than we want to. But they, uh, they, they work so well for so many different things. of doing too many okay so let's uh, put that down for a moment and uh, I'm just going to remove those little lines in the middle you know when I did this the sort of the cross that's not working too bad today but if you go too much it sort of fades your block away it starts removing that we don't want to do that <gasps> Jackie you're not gosh now pencil then moving on from that Jackie, I know not everybody likes everything the same. You're all right, it's fine. Bit in the middle, okay? Uh, Marion, I wouldn't worry about it. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna be uh, completely transfer over to it. I just thought I'd try it. It's great for fine detail, but I'm quite happy with my stubby old little pencil eraser. So I've gone both sides of the line and I've gone in the middle, okay? So then looking at my triangles, I'm gonna look at this forward sort of line here. So it looks like it's moving, almost a little windmill-like, maybe. Depends what you see. And I wanna put some pencil on the outside of each of those triangles. Oh, Jackie, it's fine. Don't worry. I'm going to add a little bit there as well. On those. Maybe. So, not being too shy about it. Now, getting some pencil in there. And if it goes over that first one there, that's fine. going to do too much shading around that outer edge today. It's more about this little bit here I want to work on. There you are, see, I mean, it takes its way around. A bit on there, look. And along. And along. Okay. Let's have a look at that. And give that a little bit of a soften. Just down one side. Ooh, there. there you go. Okay. And then middle, very gentle. Blend that out a little bit. Now I know we spoke a little bit about Torty on the other day and how look how far away I'm holding it. I'm sort of middle. Uh, you know, if you find that you're not quite getting your shade, then hold your torch on a little bit further up gives it an, a better angle and you don't put as much pressure on it. Oh, Charlotte, I know what you mean. I, I know it's all about getting those lines, but you know, even if you didn't want to put the lines in and just do triangles, you could do a different tangle if you wanted to. Okay, I'm just going to make sure I've got definition there, see? And then ever so gentle those triangles. So we're going to ease off the pressure. Ease off the pressure. Start with little swirls and ease off the pressure. And the next one. 
next line. <laughs> so what you'll find is a lot of those, those lines and those things that you've drawn underneath, you're not really going to see too many of them because you've got all the shading going on around it. Not to worry too much. Even if you just did one line around the edge, and then you can fill it in with colour if you like. We're after the main effect of the shading with the triangles. And really, does it honestly look like a grid now? It's got that shape, and because we've not got that square around the outside, it doesn't look so bad. Good idea, Charlotte, doing a draft first. Sometimes it's nice to go straight in and just see where it leads, but I know some of you like to know what you're doing. Okay. <laughs> I know Charlotte does like her glossy accents. See, you don't have to do that in the middle. You could actually do a gem in the middle, couldn't you? If you wanted to. to come together now. We've got the shadow going on all the way around. Letting it do its thing. Of course having that little bit of an extra sort of pattern around the outside with those rosies in that stencil it just helps things there a little too. Okay, so Alright, so it needs a little bit more definition. So the first thing I'm going to do is come back in with my pen and for sure I need to go back in and put those lines in. Okay. So I've not used a thicker pen in this case. The O3 is fine. Let's put those lines in there as well. See just the bottom edge. Just give that a bit of depth. And then here, I'm just going to come up. Oh, see, now because you've asked about stencils, Leslie's turned up. Um, I don't know if I can show you now. I don't know if what, it's... no, you're not showing them anything? They are, see, I told you. <laughs> not allowed? No, she says I'm not allowed. Have you got it to show them? It's sort of... Oh, old. my... Goodness. Yeah, I've been tidying my stencils up. <laughs> I think I've got them in you. Yeah, I've got them in Okay. Here. I might let you have a little sneaky peep, peeps. Mm, there you are, see? She's spoken. <laughs> there you are. So I'm just doing that inside line. Just to uh, yeah, give that a little bit of definition there. It's amazing how going back in with that black it does something completely different. <sighs> Learn sometimes, I don't think I am. <laughs> I'm not quite sure. <laughs> All right, white chalk pencil. Come on then, let's do this. In here. <laughs> there you go. And then on the edges, my triangles. I'll do on the edge of each of those as well. I'm not going to be blending this in. I'm going to leave it as is. So doesn't mean you have to. If you don't want to, you can blend it if you like. Or you could actually use a different colour entirely. It's entirely up to you. Alright. If, if you out there have never met Leslie, she is actually softer than I am. <laughs> See, she come across all hard then, and she's not really. There go. Let's see, I like that. Okay. I think just a little bit more in the bottom bit there. And then just sort of a little bit, you know, round here in those little areas. Just want a little bit darker in there. 
I'll see. That sounds like a plan, doesn't it? And sit and do some dangling while you're away. That's the beauty of it, isn't it, though? You can take it anywhere. You don't need a load of things if you don't want to. It's, uh, just take the basics. You can just, like, chuck it in your bag and away you go. That's basically how it works. It's nice to have all the extra bits and pieces, but sometimes just go back to basics and wait with it and see how that goes. Okay, let's have a look at that. Yeah, I think, again, just a little bit on the inside, I reckon. Not much, not overdoing it. Bye guys. Bye Leslie. Little chunk too much, guys. <laughs> oh, you've heard. Heard her. Okay. See, I'm, I'm, I'm only being light with that. I'm not trying to completely cover it. It's a little bit of um, an overlapping kind of triangle. It looks like little folded pieces, doesn't it? So hopefully it's not too stressful for those of you that are not into grids. Uh, oh, Alicia, give it a go, even if you don't put all the lines in. It's a case of a triangle. Just take your time with it, you'll be absolutely fine. But, um, yeah, so goodness me, what am I doing this coming week? a few things actually I thought you might like uh, to do a bit of colouring because it's nice to have these pencils and do all these wonderful drawings but if we, we can't colour them so I've got um here we go look a little bit colouring and tangling feathers so I've got a few different pieces of artwork there and those of you that not necessarily are into grids as such but love your illusions then there we go, Tangly Illusions set two. So if I just sort of show you, look. Yeah, got that coming. And another one which has is, is very, very recently been finished. So we're going up a little bit more with the, um, oh, stencil here. Let me just see, look, there's the stencil. What is it? What is it? So I know as much as all of you actually love Jorah, haberdashery so I've got the next version but it's all about creating clothes and I mean that Leslie's not here I can show you a bit more look so actually here we go we've got a couple of dresses in there oh, my jacket shoes we've got this beautiful sort of steampunk themed and dress so hopefully a little bit of something for everybody there. It hopefully suits everybody's tastes. So I know we don't all like the same thing all the time. So there's a few bits that you might like or some things you think, do you know what, happy with that, going to go with that. But yeah, so three shows on Monday if you're around. Uh, there's not going to be any um, so tangle this weekend. I'm giving you a chance to catch up. And of course, I've got to bind my quilt. But other than that, it's, it's going to be Monday which is Hobby Maker Tuesday, which is our next tile. Halloween is going to be uh, end of the month, I think 25th, 26th of August, something like that. So that's something to look out for, isn't it? So, okay. So have a go at this one. Don't forget to put a signature on it. I know sometimes these look a little bit tricky, but even if you sketch it out, have a go and just sort of see where you end up. And uh, and I'd give it give it a try and see what you think. So okay, I'm gonna leave you there, everybody. Have a lovely weekend. Uh, don't do too much if you can help it. And I will catch you all again next week. Okay, so um, all right, have fun, everybody. Bye. <laughs>